Leave it to these guys to spoil the mood. What are you talking about? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're reduxing our list of the top 10 most annoying video game characters. I guess it's your turn to be thanked. Although we did this list a few years ago, we feel like it's time to give the video a facelift and add a few things that we left out. These are all of the game characters we honestly wished the developers just left out of their games. You guys are looking for someone here, aren't ya? As usual, we're only doing one character per franchise. But you already knew that, right? Number 10, Baby Mario, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Upon first glance, one would ask themselves, just how bad could one baby be? Baby Mario may share the iconic plumber's tenacity, but we'd warn you not to be fooled by the infant's innocent appearance. In his respective game, Baby Mario has a tendency of letting out an obnoxious cry whenever he comes in contact with an enemy and is knocked off the back of Yoshi. The platformer's extreme difficulty consequently makes this cry an incessant part of your playing experience. Number 9, Jasper Bat Jr., No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. Travis, took you long enough? Thought the suspense was gonna kill me. This so-called top-ranked assassin is probably one of the biggest letdowns ever in terms of a final boss battle. You gotta be shitting me! In their final showdown, Jasper nearly convinces Travis that he killed the three people in his life closest to him, but is quickly uncovered to be a fraud. Don't be deceived so easily. They're just replicas. Serious? Jeez. Well, aren't I a gullible idiot? From there, Jasper has three very uninspired forms Travis must defeat in order to win. The real annoyance was the concept of him as a final villain, though. It's called poetic justice. Throughout the game, he is believed to be a top-ranked assassin, when in reality, he's just a whiny little rich kid that squeals when you hit him. <laughs> Number 8. Roman Bellic. Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? This character represents every guy that means well, but is just a little bit too clingy. Nico, my cousin! Hey! I can't believe it, you're here! <laughs> Welcome to America! Bravo, <laughs> What? Roman is the cousin to the main character, Nico. With his inflated stories of his life in Liberty City, Nico makes the trip and joins him, but soon realizes that Roman is just the humble owner of a small taxi firm with some really incredible debt. Don't be a dick, man! Come on! Where's your Russian friend now, huh? Eh? He's not my friend, he's eh? my lawn shark! Most of the game revolves around fixing the mess that Roman's made for himself, or just hanging out with him, which normally wouldn't be so bad if he wasn't constantly buying for your attention. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. No, Roman, I don't want to go bowling. Okay, man. I will see you soon then. Number 7, Omo Chao, Sonic Adventure 2. Players will find this little bundle of annoyance offering his assistance to you throughout various tasks and levels. Try whistling here. There must be someone here. What is generally supposed to be help just comes off as a plain nuisance with the metal chows, overused quotes, and unnecessary commentary. It feels good floating. That jumping higher would be a breeze here. In some games, he can even be used as a weapon, but even then he finds ways to be somewhat obnoxious. What are you doing? Why don't you get yourself a teddy bear? Although he's appeared throughout the franchise, in Adventure 2, he's often planted square in the middle of the stage, meaning you'll frequently run right into him and initiate dialogue before you know what's happening. Number 6, Slippy Toad. Star Fox series. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. If we never have to hear this character's voice again, we'd be pretty happy. Fox, get this guy off me. It isn't even Slippy's voice that's the problem, but it's his repetitive and ceaseless dialogue that makes playing experiences nearly unbearable. Oh, there's just something creepy about this guy. Add in the fact that he actually makes the game more difficult with his constant need for help, and you practically want to blow him out of the sky yourself. Whoa! Help me! Thanks, Fox. I thought they had me. Playing through the game on mute may be your only viable option. Ah! Number 5, Otis, Dead Rising. That can't be good. Upon first meeting this elderly janitor, he actually appears to be a pretty well put together guy. Oh, 
as long as those things are in the mall. It isn't until you make the mistake of giving him a walkie-talkie that he becomes a real douche. <laughs> Otis will constantly call in to remind Frank of every little detail in the mall. And once you cut him off to take care of some flesh-eating undead, he actually has the nerve to get upset about it. Really, dude? You can't just arrest him? Number 4. Vanille, Final Fantasy XIII My name is Abadia Vanille. I'm a lassie from Grand Pulse. The Final Fantasy franchise has historically found it necessary to add an upbeat, youthful character to complement the rest of the cast. We think we can speak for a lot of fans when we say that Vanille should have been exempt from this trend. I... I didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> No one's really been able to identify exactly what type of accent she's meant to have, fluctuating between something like Australian, South African, and New Zealand at times. So, it really doesn't help that she narrates a huge portion of the game. To tell you the truth, I've told so many lies, it's all a blur. She's also inappropriately perky during some rather somber moments. Didn't you have something to tell him? Yeah. Alright then. Number three, Ashley Graham, Resident Evil 4. Looks like this is it. Ugh, oh, it stinks. Sure does. If this character wasn't the bane of your Resident Evil 4 playing experience, we really don't know what was. Talk about near-death experience. Aside from being pretentious and argumentative, Leon has to act as Ashley's escort for the better half of the game. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? This means not only protecting yourself from being eaten alive, but preventing the same thing from also happening to Ashley. What's going on? Ah! It's widely accepted that the best part of her character is her innate ability to hide in dumpsters. And, tempting though it may be, you unfortunately can't just leave her there. No! Get away! Number 2, Navi, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Hello! There's no doubt that this character is essential in navigating the game. But, with the fairy's repetitive dialogue, we might be inclined to take our chances without her. Hey, listen. There's only so much one can take of Hey, listen! before you want to break out the fly swatter. Ah. At least Navi wasn't as much of an eyesore as the 35-year-old wannabe fairy, Tingle. As deplorable of an experience as it was to see him, it was always unavoidable, as he carried the maps that Link required. Ah. Before we unveil our pick for the most annoying video game character, here are a few honorable mentions. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I f***ed up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Number one, the dog, Duck Hunt. The only thing worse than failure is being mocked for it. Most games offer their players positive reinforcement or encouragement, but Duck Hunt only brought players to the frustrated brink of madness with its addition of the laughing dog. Despite how well you did in the game, once the inevitable occurred and you missed a duck, you were relentlessly mocked by the fiendish canine. This one nameless character turned the innocent shooting simulator into one of gaming's biggest annoyances. Don't lie, you've tried to shoot him at least once or twice. At least now, you can beat the snot out of him in Smash Brothers. I'll teach you to laugh. Damn. Do you agree with our list? Yeah, fantastic. Which video game character made you want to pull your hair out? For more awesome top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Uh, Leon, what's going to happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. Thank <laughs> you.